Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the most anticipated game of 2017. And you guessed it, it's going to be... It's not going to be Destiny, it's not going to be Red Redemption, it's going to be Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of good games coming out this year. But yeah, Star Wars Battlefront 2, if you guys didn't already see the trailer, go ahead and watch that trailer because we're going to be spoiling a lot of it in this video. And probably a lot of things you weren't aware of about this game uh, if you didn't play the old Star Wars Battlefront 2 it's gonna be following the path of that older game back in 2005 this game uh, is gonna have a single player which predecessor did not have it's also gonna be getting rid of um, the $50 season pass which I did not particularly enjoy um, last year paying $50 on top of the game so that was pretty uh, pretty crazy I'm not sure what they're gonna do um, I believe they're probably thinking if I was game developer they're probably thinking oh um, a lot of money left on the table before that season passed because no one bought it and they were kind of just waiting for it to uh, release uh, one by one but um, reason I'm saying this is because they're probably thinking of microtransactions for simple things like I mean EA knowing EA they're not gonna just leave it without a season pass uh, they're gonna have some sort of uh, transaction that uh, the player can make to make them a little bit more money and I think they probably didn't think the uh, season pass wasn't a good I was a good idea last year um, so that's just one thing like I said single player co-op is brought back it's gonna be split split screen co-op as well pretty hyped about that uh, I really don't have anybody to play with but I was kind of hoping for online co-op with maybe a couple friends and so um, an expanded multiplayer is going to be brought, uh, join up to 40 players in a massive multiplayer one-on-one um, -on -one battle. It's going to be pretty much like the, the old Battlefronts. Uh, you're going to be in uh, space, it's going to have uh, a wide variety of land to air vehicles, control uh, iconic t characters and distinct abilities that can turn the tide of the battle, which is directly off their website if you guys do want to read that again. Um, this is where I'm getting all this information. It's on the uh, EA.com backslash games, Star Wars, Battlefront, Battlefront 2. It's all there if you guys want to read that over yourself. Um, one thing I'd like to uh, kind of touch on is I have no um, I have no reason to believe that they're going to be bringing back um, vehicle hard spawns, which is, in other words, they're not going to be holograms. So I'm hoping there's going to be no more holograms. I did not like that. It brought kind of an arcade feel to the game. Um, I may, you know, there's some aspects of the hologram gameplay uh, I kind of liked, but there's some aspects I just did not like of it. The random spawns of the holograms kind of made that, uh, kind of made that weird. I, I'd have to say, like, people, that was like what it was all about, was like sitting there and you having like dedicated walker drivers, dedicated, uh, um, air vehicle drivers like it. I just kind of like that uh, a lot more on the old battlefronts uh, people kind of just camping those spawns and and um, I say that like it's a good thing like people camping the spawns been letting a little others drive vehicles and stuff but that kind of like worked out well you know I don't know it's just kind of weird to think about so uh, hard spawns not ve not vehicle holograms I hope that's brought back like I said before space battles are being brought back I hope they are not as crazy as the one in uh, 2015 battlefront uh, I did not like that uh, when they started bringing those space battles on they just did not feel right and like using the X wings to destroy the Death Star in that on that one DLC I uh, did not like that the Death Star DLC uh, space battle. Did not like that at all. That was not fun to me. Uh, there was just not enough stuff going on, and just you die too quickly. And it just they need to add something like AI to those space battles to make them make them a little bit smaller, and add like dedicated like turn players into like generals or whatever. I think that'd be pretty cool with AIs. Uh, I don't know. For Star Wars, I feel like that's this is the only game that AIs would be okay in. Um, like like if we're going back to like Titanfall and stuff, I actually liked. That was like the most recent game I can think of that had a considerable amount of AIs in multiplayer battles, which I thought was okay at the time, but at the same time, it just doesn't feel right. But I feel like Star Wars is gonna would actually shine with AIs on each side. So, <laughs> obviously, the Millennium Falcon, Luke Skywalker's X-wing, and some other obviously other uh, vehicles are gonna be brought back into this game, um, along with. Um, I hope there's a galactic conquest. I'm hoping they're they're saying it's a galactic scale space battle, uh, so 
I'm hoping that's a little bit bigger than what we've seen. Next thing that uh, you guys probably already knew is they're bringing back the uh, characters from every era. They're going to have a few. I'm, I'm just, just going to name a few here. Kylo Ren, Rey, Darth Maul, Yoda. And there's going to be many more. So, like, Obi-Wan's going to be brought back. Darth Vader. Um, probably going to see the Sith in there. Lord Sidious and uh, a few others uh, I probably won't name off. Uh... If you guys, you probably already, if you guys don't know, there's a lot of freaking Star Wars characters, so, uh, from all these trilogies, so it's gonna be pretty crazy to figure out, uh, which ones they're gonna add into it. The other thing that I'm kind of, uh, interested in, this is probably one of the other more important things that I was gonna be looking into myself more than anything else, which was the customize and progress thing we'll be doing. Like, is there going to be ranking? Is there going to be certain emblems we get that we can place on our uh characters like uh if you guys remembered um it was star wars battlefront renegade squadron i had it on the psp um if you guys don't didn't remember that or did not play it it actually had one of the best custom customization features in that game and ranking system you could literally customize pretty much all parts of your clothing and i thought that was pretty dang cool it really showed off what you you know your rank and stuff and you could actually go in there and actually color your stuff and create paintings and stuff for your armor and, and i thought that was really cool so maybe they should do something like that uh shouts out the development team i thought that was pretty cool in the uh, psp version which was a long 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 time ago not sure we got why we got rid of the like stuff that actually made sense to these kind of games that actually would portray you as like a high rank and stuff and not just like pre-made outfits which kind of made it a little bit boring but at the same time, I think I thought it was pretty cool. Last, uh, I thought the game last game was pretty cool with that. Uh, I think I just feel like it was missing a lot of customization options for that kind of stuff. And I feel like this will be the perfect game for this uh, since they're going back uh, um, and using all the prequels and original trilogy uh, in one game, putting that all in one game. I feel like this would be a great game to have that kind of extended customization. But that's just me. That is just me. Um, they're saying it's going to be a diverse and powerful progression system. So. Uh, looking forward to that. Obviously, there's going to be a pre-order bonus, if you guys weren't aware of that. Um, I'm not sure what the pre-order bonus is at this point in time. I will get back to you guys on that as we'll be posting many videos on this game uh, in the future as I get more and more information. I'm just trying to make sure this information is solid before I get the videos out, so I apologize if this is late. This is a late, late video. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been the first video I've done in like a long time about, about this kind of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to slam the like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.